Today, I thought, and as I said to you on Friday, I was spending a lot of time outside. Now, I do have my summer house there, which is great, but I've been actually been able to look at areas where you can spend some time outside. So I'm going to be talking to you about this area here. I'm going to talk about this area here and a seating area here, all beautifully blessed with the sun. Using outside spaces, I've got a little seating area here, and it means it matters not what time of the day it is, it doesn't matter what time, I can find a sunny place to go and sit. So moving back into the house, I created another area. Now, I think the weather's going to turn this week, so we might not be lucky enough to have a lot more sunshine. So find areas in your house that maybe you've not spent time in before. Um, I'm lucky enough that I've got quite a big hallway area, but I'm finding areas, you know, I just popped here, you'll see, just popped a little chair and a little light into the corner there. And, you know, I'm always saying, it's even, even if I'm not spending time there, it's nice to look at another area in your home. So think about taking a chair and putting it in your bedroom, take a book, take a cup of coffee, spend time in other rooms. It's, you know, the, the, your home has lots and lots of different areas. And uh, so I've created this little seating area here, as you'll see, and I just love sitting there. And it's actually on to another little outside seating balcony area. And now I, I installed these last year and this is a great company. Um, and I'll be talking about those next week. Express by Fold Door Company. Not only do they do, do normal um, doors, they did my front door for me, but they do this amazing sliding window system. And they're just amazing. You literally, oh, there's a nice big bumblebee. Literally, you can open everything up. They fold flat to the wall. And I've got this little seating area here. Now, I bought this. This was actually a flat pack set of furniture. They got it. Um, there's a company called Conservatory um, Garden Furniture for You, and they sell really, really nice rattan furniture. That's where I bought this and other pieces from. Um, but check online, there's some great bargains out there just now. And this was actually flat pack, all clicks together like a sort of jigsaw Lego puddle, uh, puzzle. And just got some little waterproof cushions. that These came with it, but I got these from Ikea. So these can stay out overnight, not all over winter, but overnight. So if it's a little bit damp in the morning, it, they dry out. Now, while we're passing through the house, I just thought I would talk to you about hallways. Now, Anne Maurice, who um, was the, the, the doctor in Channel 5, the house doctor, she was always talking about curb appeal. So the front of your house should look good. Curb appeal is very important. But I think the first step that people take when they come into your house is your hallway. And I'm quite lucky because I do have a large hallway space, but it didn't always look like this. And I'm going to be posting. I found great pictures. Uh, we've been here for like nearly 16, 17 years of the before and afters. So I've got some amazing before and after pictures um, that I'm going to show you, um, especially this hallway because it was all painted egg yolk yellow and it had one tiny Velux window. So not only have I taken the roof off there to put the Velux windows in and move where my front door was to where it is now. I've been clever with mirror. Because what I've done, it's not, a, it's not a really, really wide hall, but just by mirroring that wall there and down there, I've increased the whole width of, there's that spider's web I didn't get last week. <laughs> I've increased visually the width of the staircase this balustrade here used to be, uh, it was all sort of wrought iron. Again, it was painted egg yolk yellow. So what I did was, I just created very fashionable just now, is to have glass balustrades. So not only is it difficult to keep clean, so a little wipe there. Um, it's not only has it made the space look much bigger again, I'm getting a little bit of reflection from it, but it's making the place feel so much bigger. As you'll see, I've got my Carndine flooring. This was the original color, Australian walnut. And then I changed it here to the gray. So I've got lots of different flavors running through into there. That's my bedroom dressing room. Again, little sneaky tips with mirrors here. Just makes the place feel so much bigger. Reflecting light in, making more of the space. But your hallway should actually say 
about you, you know, so I always, it's so easy, isn't it? It's so easy to come home and just dump your bag, throw your jacket on the stairs. If you've been for a run, muddy training shoes, save on the, you know, just let it, try and be disciplined about your hallway or get a cupboard, just shove it all in. Uh, yeah, so again, as I said, mirrors. What a difference that has made. So I've got the open plan staircase, but the mirror is just making everything feel double the size. Obviously I've got finishing touches to do. I've got this wood here to complete up and get that done this summer. And also radiators, um, I love these. These, um, they're, sometimes you, you have to sacrifice um, productivity to, to beauty, I should say, but these actually work really well because I wanted something that wasn't like a normal radiator, but looked a bit more architectural. So have a look at radiators as well. Um, it's just, they're actually like pieces of sculpture. So anyway, another piece of mirror there, working really well. And it actually mirrors, huh, no pun intended, the stone effect wall that I mentioned before, which can be used outside and in, outside and in. I've, I'm lucky, I've got lots of outside in areas. And if we go over, I'm gonna walk through there. I got this furniture here. It's a lovely table and chair set. And that was from Sterling, the furniture company. And it's a really, really nice set. Um, you can put an umbrella in the middle as well. It's great for outside in spaces. More mirrors, more mirrors, more mirrors. I won't take you up into the kitchen because it's a bit of a mess just now. Back through into my living room. And again, if you can invest, and you know, it, it is a big purchase, but what a difference it's made. Express by fold. Uh, doors are amazing. So I've got this opens up as well. So there's like a whole wall of window and it works really effectively if you see that there. Don't know if I've got the angle right. But it means you can literally fold these doors over and in one fell swoop create an outside in garden area. Amazing. Love them. There's the branding again. An amazing company. I met them at the Ideal Home Show um, last year. Now someone's asking about decking and originally I did have a wooden deck but this is what happens. So in the wooden deck area, I'll show you here, um, you've got to treat it and then I painted it last year and that's what's happened. So the next thing I have to do is strip this all back and give it a good paint again. But using Shawfield Timber, uh, I last year, and thank you Callum for spending last summer redecking everything for me, I used this, it's like a plastic decking and you'll see there on the side, it's actually made from recycled PVC and you literally, I mean, Steve's been great. He's been out and washed all it this week. It, it's it's plastic and it keeps its color. So instead of having something like this that needs treated every year, you can use this reconstructed and reused plastic. And it makes such a difference. I love it. So Shawfield Timber, there's many products out there, but they've got their own range here and you can be clever with it as well. I mean, I've, I've merged it in with the paving slab here into there there's some little finishing touches you can see the old and the new there but it, that is a, it's a great great product um now steve did the cushions here what have i always said about cushions i never like cushions on the points i like them square and preferably with the karate chop thank you uh yeah more garden furniture now i got these as well these are actually foldable and if we've got people staying in the summer house, there's a nice little area for them here. Um, so they, they fold it and it's a sort of plastic rattan. So they can stay out all, all, um, all winter, but I do put them into my little hut. I bought some extra things the other day, those shelving things to uh, store areas. Uh, last year or t two years ago, actually, I got this whole area slabbed. Yes, it needs we did as well and I'm going to be trying some top tips. And I used um, the Roger Brothers, um, Amogai and West End Company. And 
Jamie, Alan and Greg, they've all been here, the whole <laughs> Roger family, but a good local company, trusted, have a look at their website, great before and afters. And over the years, I've just added more and more to it. So this was the first sort of slabbed area here, which I got the I got these, it looks like Riven Slate. And these were actually from, um, what do you call that garden? It's a garden center, um, but go online and you'll find local builders. Allender Aggregates, it's a local stone company. I've used to put these sort of bedding areas in as well. And what I try to do is this used to be all grass and because I'm on a slope here, um, there's not, it wasn't very good for drainage and the grass is very mossy. So um, I just kept the grass to a minimum there. So good things for using outside and you can do it. You can actually buy them and build up as you're looking for good slabs, nice paving slabs, maybe some edging paving that I've created my path with. Nice gra um, sort of gravelly paths work really, really well. And this is what I did when I took my old decking up. I thought what I'd do is I would build, rather than throw it away, I painted it gray and created, this is going to have a clematis um, growing up here and then round here I used the rest of it to frame my dining set area so it, it's almost like I've created a little bit of a gazebo and it works really well I wasn't going to be doing anything with it it would probably burnt the old timbers but Callum my fabulous joinery pal last year created that for me. And you can hang things up here. We've had colored lights. We've had little dinner parties here. Again, this is um, gardenfurnitureforyou.co.uk and that's furniture for you. And this again, white clean, it looks really, really good. Um, and that works really well. So don't just throw everything away. You have to be quite canny and clever with things. And I've created that little arbor over there you'll see I've created the seating area over there. The main topics for today, I thought I'd share with you, and I think the things for you to take away and remember, and I'd love to see what you've been doing this week. Um, mirrors inside hallway areas can really reflect and make your hall feel much bigger. And remember, your front door has curb appeal. The minute you go into someone's home or your home, it's the first thing they see. So your hall should really make a statement. Um, bifolding doors, bring the outside in. I just love them. Express bifold doors. They they have changed the way I live in this house, no doubt about it. Gold Seal are also another company that I use and did a lot of them. Um, they've done sliding doors for me in the past. In fact, I reused them over in my summer house there. Those were my original patio doors and I reused them on my summer house. Um, so that's a good tip as well. When you are getting rid of things, think about where you could maybe reuse them. Um, obviously I built the summer house there and reused the doors. Um, so hallways, create little seating areas. If, you know, if the weather's going to turn this week, create little seating areas at home that are different from you just in your usual place. I, I know I've said before, take your chair away from the TV put it to the window, have a look outside, but even equally, you know, create a little sitting area in your bedroom, or if you've got a little area in your kitchen, put a little table and chairs and have a cup of coffee, watch the, watch the wildlife, watch the plants growing. Um, really important to reconfigure um, what you've got in your own home. Another piece of mirror there. So I'm actually standing outside looking into my living room and reflecting through into my other living room where the fire is and back through to the mirrors up there. So it's, uh, I don't know what you're planning on doing today. The sun is still shining and I'm going to spend some time in this seated area. Um, and this is actually, I've got a nice little olive tree, which I take in in the evenings. I, I've got my sweet peas ready to go. Um, but this furniture again from uh, Garden Furniture For You, um, .co.uk with the letter four in it. Um, these um, seat pads were made from curtain wise with me and outside, inside, uh, really nice fabric. Uh, you know, please keep in touch with me. I want to know about what you're doing. It's great that you connect with me uh, and you see what I'm doing, but I want to know what you're doing because I'm interested in your homes. And basically I'm just quite nosy. Um, so get busy with the fizzy, um, get planting, look at outside areas, Get the fresh air in, keep safe, 
keep happy and I'll see you through the week.